Now more than ever, it's important to be prepared for what's coming. We're stocking up like never before. Hey guys, it's Jarrah with Wicked Prepared. Welcome back to our channel. We're glad to have you. Make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our uploads. I'm sharing another Big Prepper Pantry haul with you today. We had a viewer leave a comment on one of our videos. It was one of our haul videos, and she said something to the effect of, I hope all these people can use everything they've bought when the winter's over and nothing has happened. She was referring, of course, to preppers who are stockpiling food and supplies, and I thought, some people just don't get it. They really don't get it. First of all, something always happens, doesn't it? Things are happening right now. They might not be happening to you, but they're happening somewhere in the world. The latest thing that I've heard about recently was the massive flooding in the Pacific Northwest of Canada. That's really, really messed things up for them. Every time I turn around, I see something happening somewhere in the country that causes me to say, that's why we prep. If there's one thing I know, it's that something always happens. Is it going to be a complete and total collapse of our economy and society as we know it? It could be. There's a lot of concerning things going on right now, but it might not be. Is it going to be a massive EMP blast that knocks out everything? Could be. Maybe not. An emergency doesn't have to be a massive SHTF situation, although it could be. It could be something as simple as a hurricane, a blizzard, an ice storm. It could be something on a more personal level. It could be that you lose your job, your spouse loses their job. It could be an illness or an injury that causes someone to miss work and have less income coming into the household. But be it big or small, something always happens. And it's usually what we least expect when we least expect it. If we all had a crystal ball, we wouldn't be having this conversation right now. You never know what's coming. It hits you with basically no warning. If there is warning, it's not enough to become prepared. That's what leads to panic buying and masses of people storming the stores and clearing the shelves. That's what we're trying to avoid. And let's say nothing does happen. Let's say it's smooth sailing from here on out. The weather is wonderful. We have no storms. The crops all flourish. The supply chain irons itself out and things go smoothly. If nothing happens, so then I don't need to eat food. I don't need to use cleaning supplies, personal care items. No, the thing is you'll always use these things, no matter what happens. But whatever happens, putting aside food and supplies is like an insurance policy. We get insurance on our cars, we get insurance on our homes. Think of this as another life insurance policy because you're providing the things that you would need to sustain life in an emergency. With auto insurance or homeowner's insurance, it's something that we hope we never have to use, but we'll be glad to have it if we do. If you don't need it, the money you paid into that is just gone. But with prepping, it's an investment because you'll always use what you bought. If you're filling your house full of items that you would never use unless the you-know-it hits the fan, you're doing it all wrong. This is an insurance policy that you're gonna cash in on no matter what. Being prepared is just the smart and responsible thing to do because it means that if and when something happens, you won't be a draw in society, you won't be relying on someone else to take care of yourself and your family. You'll be in a better position to take care of yourself and even to step up and help others. How prepared you want to be is a very individual decision. You might feel comfortable having just two weeks of supplies and food, whereas someone else might feel comfortable having six months, a year, or even two years. Whatever works for you is what you should do, but it's never too late to start. You do what works for you, we'll do what works for us. I'm pretty excited to show you this haul. I found some cool things that I'm really excited about. So let's check it out and see what I got. This week's stock up was so big, I had to spread it across two different surfaces to make it easier. So here we've got all of the food and over here we've got all of the non-food. Well, except for the pet food. So I'm gonna start with the food and I'm gonna start over here with some of the things that I grabbed from Amazon because I was super excited about some of this stuff. These are instant pad thai, kind of like a ramen packet. I just stumbled across these. You really just have to add boiling water. It's got noodles and it's got a seasoning packet. And I thought these would be great because I know if you guys watched one of my last hauls, I'm really excited about the freeze dried shrimp that I just got. And I'm dreaming up all kinds of meals in a jar I can make with the, with the freeze dried shrimp. And I thought pad thai, shrimp pad thai would be a great thing. And this is gonna have noodles and seasoning, everything all together. So I got that from Amazon, a 10 pack of that. And then along the same lines, I also got all these seasoning packets. You know I'm a big fan of seasoning packets. This is the lone um, different packet. This is a shrimp scampi packet that I got to try. 
And then we've got all of these Sunbird Asian style um, sauce mixes, seasoning mixes, all kinds of them. We've got sweet and sour, beef and broccoli, Mongolian beef, stir fry, fried rice, General's chicken, lettuce wrap seasoning. I basically got one of every flavor I could find. Now a few of these I was able to find at my local Walmart and then the rest of them I ordered from Amazon. Try to look for as close to a dollar a packet as you can. This is the other one, Kung Pao chicken. This is a box of 20. This is the one I was originally looking for, a Kung Pao seasoning because I thought a Kung Pao shrimp would be really good. And I found this on Amazon. I believe it's a 20 pack. There's more boxes on this side. So this was really the best deal I could find on this. I couldn't find this locally to me. So after that, also from Amazon, I also got, this is a little tin of um, saffron. I'm still on the shrimp kick and I thought making a paella would be kind of a neat kind of meal in a jar to do. So I also got these paella seasoning mixes. And I found this was something that I thought was really neat. I'd never seen this before. I have a lot of these Nor bouillons. This is actually a shrimp flavored bouillon, which I have never seen before. So I thought that was kind of neat. And then I did get a big, this is a really big Nor beef bouillon because I needed some more beef bouillon. This was kind of a mistake that I made on my subscribe and save. The last time I got this in my subscription, I had got two because I got one for my sister as well. And I forgot and forgot to change the quantity. And by the time I realized it, it was already getting ready to ship. So I figured I would just get the two. I really like this red curry paste. This is probably the cheapest way to get it. Definitely the cheapest way to get this brand. But I've gotten red curry paste also in little tins at the Asian market. And I did the math and this is actually, actually cheaper than that. So this is really great. I love having this. I'll definitely use this up because all you need is a couple tablespoons of this red curry paste, can of coconut milk, a tablespoon of brown sugar, and two tablespoons of fish sauce. And you've got a really nice red curry sauce that I just throw whatever vegetables and whatever meat, chicken, I've done it with duck, you can do it with shrimp, anything, it's really delicious. So so another thing I grabbed from Amazon was this skinny hot chocolate. I'm just gonna give this a try. I love drinking hot chocolate probably more than anyone else in the house, but I really try not to consume a lot of sugar. So I looked up keto hot chocolate and this came up, so I'm gonna give it a try. And the next thing I found at Amazon, I was very excited about this. This is, um, it's an eight pound bag of instant quinoa. Now let's talk about instant quinoa. Now quinoa is a great thing to have in the prepper pantry. It's really pretty healthy for you. It's a complete protein. You can see this has um, two grams of fiber per serving. It's got all these vitamins and minerals. But why I wanted to get the instant quinoa, this is pre-cooked quinoa. Now what that means is it's kind of along the lines of like instant rice, minute rice. It's been pre-cooked. So most of us are familiar with instant rice. This is just like minute rice. They have instant white rice and instant brown rice. There's also instant beans. Now the idea with these is that they've already been cooked, pre-cooked, and then dehydrated. So they'll cook really quickly. In fact, you can usually just pour boiling water onto them. So the real benefit with the instant beans and the instant rice and the instant quinoa is that they cook very quickly. So they'll require very little fuel or you can even just pour boiling water over them and they'll usually soften up enough to eat. I just noticed on this package, it actually doesn't give you the cooking instructions. It says it's ready to eat, but on Amazon where I purchased it, it says to add boiling water and wait seven minutes. But that can be a real blessing in your prepper pantry because if you've ever tried to cook, for example, rice and quinoa aren't that bad. They don't take too long to cook, but if you've ever tried to cook with dried beans, you really have to soak them overnight and boil them for hours to get them to cook all the way through. So if you're in a survival situation where you're trying to conserve fuel, that's not gonna be very efficient for you. So I was very excited to find this instant quinoa. Thrive Life actually used to have it on their website, but it's been out of stock forever. And then it just disappeared. So I'm pretty sure they discontinued it. And I had looked online and I hadn't found any other brand. So I was very excited to find this. It's even organic. And I got the eight pound bag because it was the most economical way to purchase it. But it, they had it in every other size from half a pound on up. And then the final thing that I got from Amazon in this haul is this box right back here. And I will show you what is in this box. So this box is full of individual Frito packages. I think there's either 40 or 50 in this box. I can't remember. Now we like to use these little Frito packs for walking tacos or campfire tacos. We do this a lot when we're camping. And if we're camping, I usually just buy the variety packs at the wholesale club and we take out the Fritos and the Doritos 
and use them for our walking tacos and then we use the rest of the chips for snacks for the rest of the camping trip but I bought these because I'm planning on using these in some survival meal kits that I'm going to put together so make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss those so next we've got a whole bunch of various pasta and sauce so the first thing I got is these ready pastas now these are pouches of fully cooked pasta that's ready to eat they're not really great for long-term storage in your prepper pantry but they do have a shelf life of about nine months these right here um, say they're good until September of next year and I'm willing to bet that they would be good probably a little bit longer than those so I do like to have these um, I'm going to be using these in those same emergency meal kits different meals but um, I like to have things like this on hand because if you're in an emergency when you do not have electricity and you're not able to cook things these are already cooked they just need to be heated you could even eat them unheated if you needed to and we also use these so we keep these rotated because I have a son who just loves pasta it's easy for him to tear open a pouch of this and open a bottle of sauce and have a quick snack and it's also good for my picky daughter who doesn't like a lot of other things so if I need something that she'll eat I use these I did order these from Walmart because my local store doesn't have these so I have to go to a further away store so I just threw them in an order and had them shipped but I did notice on Amazon that they had at least one type of these I think it was the rotini that was actually quite a bit cheaper if you bought a six pack on Amazon so I'll link that down below for anyone who wants to check it out I got this um, Gemelli and rotini is what I got this time they also come in elbows and um, I think something else but I can't remember what so after that I did get some different spaghetti sauces we eat a lot of pasta spaghetti sauce is a great thing to have on hand for spaghetti lasagna anything i got some of these bertolis i got these ragus which isn't my favorite sauce but these chunky garden combinations i do use in one recipe and the kids don't mind this and this was a good deal i think it was an ibotta deal or a swag bucks deal so i grabbed those and some more bertolis and then we got some pasta I got we use usually either whole wheat pasta or we use the veggie pasta or the smart taste or the protein plus and I usually actually mix them all together so I got a bunch of these veggie rotinis and then I got just one whole wheat spaghetti I actually was having a hard time finding um, spaghetti in my stores lately so I got one of the whole wheat and then I got a bunch of the smart taste spaghetti and then these are the whole wheat egg noodles we use a lot of egg noodles so I bought I think it's four of those to replace what I've been using lately now these Velveeta shells and cheese these were a deal that I got I think it was an Ibotta deal my kids don't really care for actually none of us really care for the Velveeta shells and cheese the Velveeta shells and cheese this type of macaroni and cheese is really good to have in the prepper pantry because it doesn't require milk and butter the cheese sauce is already put together in a little pouch so you really don't need anything except water to cook the pasta we don't tend to care for the taste of the Velveeta shells and cheese as much as we like other types of macaroni so I got these different flavors bacon and queso blanco to try because sometimes we like the different flavors a little bit better and then I got these pizza crust mix I don't know I haven't tried these in a long time I think my mother used to use these when I was young does anyone use these I just thought these might be handy to have in the prepper pantry because they only require oil and water to mix up and it would be a pretty Quick and easy way to make a little bit of pizza crust if it came out okay because we do like to have pizza a lot so I grabbed a bunch of pizza sauce also because we've used a lot of that lately so I needed to refill that I got one of the small and I got three of the large um, jars of pizza sauce just depends on how many pizzas we're making which one I'll open up so after the pizza and sauce I got a bunch of condiment type of things and I got some really great deals on some of these I was pretty happy I did get some small cans of diced jalapenos because we do like jalapenos every once in a while but we don't use a lot of them so when I get the bigger jars they tend to just go bad so I got the smaller cans I got these sliced salad olives I was having a hard time finding these for a while we had this section of our store was pretty empty so when I did find them I grabbed a couple I like those in egg salad um, just hard boiled eggs cream cheese and the sliced salad olives my mom used to make it like that when I was young and I really like it it sounds strange but now these Erdes salsas these um, this was actually the first place that I noticed prices going up in my area this was earlier this year I love this guacamole salsa and the price went up on these considerably 
And so I had actually stopped buying it. This I'm the only one in my family who really eats these. So I had stopped buying them and I had a coupon so I figured I'd treat myself. And I did, I've tried the guacamole salsa. I really like that one. These are two other flavors I hadn't tried. I just thought I would try them while I had the coupon. Um, but the sad part is I ended up paying more with the coupon than I used to pay without the coupon because the price has gone up so much. And then I got two of these big jugs of picante sauce because I happened to find these and we used to get the um, medium salsa in these large jugs all the time because we go through a lot of this and my kids love this and they don't like the picante sauce quite as much. It's a little bit thinner, but I happened to find these so I grabbed them because it's a pretty economical way to buy this and they will eat it and I use it in recipes. Now the thing to remember when you're buying large containers is it can be more economical to buy things in bulk, but if it's something like salsa or anything like this that needs to be refrigerated, you don't want to have a lot of these in your prepper pantry because if you're in a situation where you don't have refrigeration and you can't use that up quickly, then it's going to end up going bad. So this is where I started getting some really great deals. These Hellman sauces, these are pretty yummy. I've gotten them before and there's all different flavors. Roasted garlic, cilantro lime, creamy chili honey, jalapeno ranch. These were actually money makers, which is why I grabbed them. And I do like them. I've tried them before. And it's important to have sauces and ways to flavor your food in your pepper pantry so you don't get sick of what you're eating. But these are $3.47 in my store. And there was actually two um, rebates offered on Fetch. One was for $2 and one was for $2.25. And they were both offered at the same time. And you could do them up to five times, I believe. And then there was also a dollar back on Ibotta. So these ended up being money makers because it was two four, uh, three forty seven dollars for the bottle. And I got, let's see, $5.25 back on each bottle. So that's kind of a no-brainer. Anytime you can get something for free, but especially if you can make money buying it, that's money you can put back into your prepper pantry and other things. Besides, you can use this. And if you don't like this, you can donate it or give it away to someone else who would use it. So how many of you use Ibotta, Fetch, and all of those rebate apps? Because you can get some really great deals, some free stuff, and some money makers. So if you're not using those, you should really check them out. I'll drop my links down in the description so you can check them out. I know, I know some of you started using Ibotta after my video on three ways to stock your prepper pantry for free. So I hope you got your free Thanksgiving dinner and your free turkey and all that. So I'll put a link to that video down uh, in the description box as well. Now this was another... Um, pretty good. It wasn't a deal that I got. I needed the low sodium soy sauce because I have a recipe that we make a lot that uses this. And I ordered six bottles and I always get the Walmart brand. And they must have been out of this because it was this was my uh, grocery pickup part of my order. So they substituted the name brand. So that was pretty awesome. And then this was another really great deal on these Holland House cooking wines. I actually use these quite a bit. I got um, Sherry and Marsala. I do use these. I know they say don't cook with any wine you wouldn't drink, but I use these all the time and I'm I'm pretty happy with them. So these were $2.30 at my Walmart and then uh, Swagbucks was giving back $3 when you bought two. So uh, $1.50 a bottle and then Checkout 51 was giving 75 cents a bottle. So that's $2.25 a bottle. So I ended up paying I think 5 cents a bottle for these and this is something that I will use and I'm sure they'll last quite a long time in the pantry. So I got four of those. I got two of each flavor. So the next thing that we stocked up on was some proteins, some meats, because canned meat is really important to have in the prepper pantry, but it's a little more expensive than some other types of things you could stock up on. So I tend to buy just, just one or two at a time. Um, I did get this little corned beef spread to have. I think this would be good to put on crackers. Um, I got a couple of these hams. These Bristol hams are the least expensive ones that I can find around here. I did get two of the Keystone pork. I usually get one or two of the Keystone meats um, whenever I get a chance, at least once a month. But And then I got a few cans of the pulled pork, roast beef, and beef fajita strips. And then I grabbed a few boxes of chicken broth. I got um, the really big one that's 48 ounces and I got a couple of the 32 ounces. I don't stock a ton of chicken broth in the prepper pantry because you can get a lot further with bouillon. It takes up a lot less space. You can store a lot more of it. But I do store some of this chicken broth either in the cartons or the cans 
we do use it in recipes so I try to keep at least a few months ahead on that and then I grab some of this organic apple cider vinegar with the mother I'm gonna be making some fire cider so I got three bottles of that next I got some baking supplies I got some light brown sugar we've been going through a lot of this so I figured I should replace some of it I keep this in the pantry for quite a while and I haven't really had issues with it getting too hard you can always stick a slice of bread in it if it gets hard or I have this canister that I really like that has um, it has a terracotta disc right on the inside of the lid and you soak that disc in water for just a few minutes and it absorbs the moisture and then you put it in the canister with the brown sugar and it keeps it soft but before I had this I used to use just a slice of bread I'd usually use the end piece that nobody wanted to eat so we got the brown sugar and then we got some fun stuff I got um, just a pack of these Hershey's um, Christmas baking chips because tis the season I got a couple bags of the mint chocolate baking chips um, this was another money maker this was an I bought a deal I bought I had a dollar 48 back I think for buying the jet jet puffed mini marshmallows and these were only nine these were uh, on rollback for one dollar at my store so that was another money maker so more money to put towards something else for the pepper pantry got a bag of the sweetened coconut flakes for baking um, this is a sugar-free hot chocolate that I got to try because I got a lot of hot chocolate in my uh, big warehouse store stock up but I wanted some sugar-free for myself so I grabbed that and then the spice cider packets is kind of the opposite I had grabbed some sugar-free spice cider from Amazon for myself because I have have a hard time finding that around here in the stores and the kids got all excited when they saw the spice cider but I didn't want them drinking the sugar-free so I got three boxes of the regular to add to the pantry then I got some more clearance deals these um, pumpkin spice season is over so they had these pumpkin spice pudding mixes on clearance um, these lilies no sugar added pumpkin spice baking chips and then I got three bags of these pumpkin spice latte morsels and more these will be a lot of fun and this stuff should stay good in the pantry until next year at pumpkin spice time I do this all the time buy things on clearance at the end of the season and use them the next year now these were not clearance I have actually peanut butter chips I have been having a hard time finding these my Walmart doesn't carry these anymore and I don't even see them on Walmart's website I'm not sure why so I did find these at a local grocery store I only grabbed two bags um, I have all sorts of different flavored baking chips in my food storage and I went looking through all the boxes and I have them all sorted and labeled and there were no peanut butter chips so I had to go grab some I got two bags because I'm really hoping I can find a better price on Amazon or somewhere but if not I'll have to go back and get more at the grocery store I got two bags and of course one has already been broken in two because we needed that for some baking and then these were another clearance deal these go go big squeeze the bigger squeeze fruit pouches those were marked down to three dollars from five ninety eight I think so I thought that was a pretty good deal there's ten of these big pouches in each of these boxes so I did grab those so now on to some of the non-food things now you'll see some of these things I got quite a few of and I'll tell you why we'll start with these energizer weather ready um, these are power outage flashlights I really love these you might have seen me feature these in my prepper stocking stuffer video these you plug right into a wall outlet and if you have them on the right setting uh, they'll be off and constantly charging when they're in your wall outlet and then the minute the power goes out to that outlet it'll automatically come on so if you have a power outage in the dark or in the middle of the night you'll automatically have a light on and you can grab that flashlight out of the outlet and carry it around with you if you need to or just leave it there for a little bit of light in the room so I love having these in every room and I love having them especially in kids rooms I've used this type of flashlight maybe not this specific brand but I've used different brands of this type of flashlight for many many years and mine really needed replacing and I usually pay around ten dollars a piece for this type of flashlight so I was excited to find these at Walmart first of all for a little less they were seven or eight dollars and there was an I bought a deal for two dollars back on each one so I grabbed one and the next time I went into Walmart they had put them on clearance for six dollars and I still had the I bought a rebate and there was also a bonus of an extra dollar if you did the rebate twice so I grabbed one more well the next time I went in the store they were still on clearance and I bought I had raised the rebate to three dollars 
So I got more because I was getting these for $3 instead of around $10. So I thought that was a really great deal. So I got a bunch of those. And then these air wicks, these are little um, air freshener scent warmers. You're probably wondering what this has to do with prepping. And really the answer is not much really. But the thing is that I these were a moneymaker deal. You know, I always say if you can get something for free, take it. If you can make money buying something, that's even better because that's going to give you a little bit of money that you can put towards something else for your prepper pantry. Now, these were on Ibotta. They are $1.47 in my Walmart, and then Ibotta was giving you back $1.75 for everyone that you bought, and you could do five at a time. And the deal kept coming back, kept resetting every 24 hours. So I did this deal as many times as I could, honestly, because that was extra money. Now, after that, we did get some... Alcohol, we got some 91% isopropyl alcohol and some denatured alcohol. Now this, of course, can be used for disinfecting, for medical purposes. It can also be burned as a fuel. And obviously the, the denatured alcohol can as well. Alcohol is safe to burn inside. It's pretty safe to store. It's a really great thing to have around. Most people have isopropyl alcohol of some sort in their house. And you can get an alcohol burner for pretty inexpensive. You can also make one out of items you might have around your house pretty easily. So this is a really great thing to have on hand. Now, of course, behind this, we have the old standby. Everyone needs bottled water. We use, we use these bottles a lot. So I try to pick up one of these cases quite often, almost every time I go to the store. My rule of thumb is that I don't want to pay. I want to pay less than 10 cents per single bottle of this size. So it's less than $4 for this 40 pack. So I do get these. Um, we have a lot of these stored in the basement. And next I got some canning jars. They have not really been restocking the canning area of my store because technically I guess canning season is over, but I use canning jars all, all year long. I can meat if I find a good deal on meat. I can meals. I make freeze dried meals in a jar. So I use canning jars all season long. I've never bought these smooth jars before. And I don't know why, because I really like to put um, labels on the sides of the jars rather than up on the lids. And it's a lot easier to stick them to these smooth sided jars. So I grabbed a couple cases of these to try. Now I also got some wipes. These little Clorox disinfecting wipes. This is just a mini little travel size pack, like a pocket pack. Now I do use these a lot actually. This is something that's really great to keep in your vehicle. It's great to keep in your purse, keep in your EDC pack. So I use these a lot, but I did grab this one because it was another moneymaker deal. Now I think this was a glitch deal. I think they made a mistake because it said buy three, get one free. And it said it gave you a $1.75 rebate, but it did not say you had to buy four. And these were only 97 cents in my store. So I bought one and I got $1.75 back. But when the rebate came back, they had fixed it and said must buy four. So I only did this one time, but it was another moneymaker and it was definitely something that I will use because I do use these. And then these wipes, these are disinfectant wipes. Um, we do use like Clorox wipes or Lysol wipes in our house and we're not too picky about what we use. These are on clearance because of course they flooded the market with all of these random new hand sanitizers and disinfectant wipes and everything when the pandemic started and nobody bought them. So now they are selling then these were 50 cents a pack and I had some ladies in the clearance hall that I was chatting with who said they were really good so I figured I'd try a couple packs of these. There's 80 wipes per pack. I think that's as least as many as are in the large packs of Clorox wipes that I usually buy. So that's a really good deal for 50 cents. I got a two pack of this Clorox toilet bowl cleaner. This is my favorite toilet bowl cleaner. It works so much better than any of the other ones I've ever tried. I got a couple of these all detergents. Now this is a small bottle of detergent. I am not super picky about brands and sizes of most of these things, but I'll just buy whatever I can get a good deal on. And this had a good deal between coupons and Ibotta. It ended up being pretty cheap to get these little bottles. So I got a couple of these. I got these uh, Finish Quantum Pods. I, I don't, I use these sometimes for the dishwasher if I get a really good deal. I will use whatever is cheap and these had an Ibotta deal and a coupon, so I got these for 77 cents or 70 cents per pack. So I grabbed a couple of packs of those. Then I grabbed this Final Touch fabric softener. It's a really big bottle and it's pretty inexpensive. It's the cheapest fabric, liquid fabric softener that I can get at my Walmart without going out to one of the warehouse clubs at least, which are further away from me. So I try to grab these whenever I can, keep a bunch of these on hand. 
And then this is just the Walmart cheapest dishwasher powder. This seems to work fine for me. So, so this is what I get. And this is just replacing the last one that I used up. I grabbed two. And then, of course, another one of the prepper staples is toilet paper. This is my favorite toilet paper to get if I'm getting it at Walmart rather than the warehouse club. So I do, do pick up one of these whenever I get a chance. Our toilet paper aisle has been um, pretty sad lately. It has a lot of empty spaces, empty holes, and this is not always in stock. But because I have plenty, I'm not in a hurry and I can wait until it comes in stock. So next we picked up some vitamins. These are just some extra uh, sort of immune boosting vitamins. Um, I do have some more coming, but this is D3. There's a couple different C's, 500 milligram C's, and then this Super C. Uh, it's 1,000 milligrams of C with vitamin D3 and zinc. Now I know sometimes there's rules about, you know, not taking certain vitamins at the same time as others, so I don't really like to buy the combinations like this but this looks like a good one so I thought we would give it a try I'm really trying to learn and get that all straight you know what vitamins you can take when and what you shouldn't take with other vitamins and what you should take with other vitamins and it's all very confusing so if you know anything about that let me know all of your wisdom down in the comments because I find it very confusing I also grabbed these viral defense because these were in the clearance aisle so these are for this one is for children and this one is for adults, elderberry, magnesium, vitamin D3, selenium, zinc, all kinds of stuff. I figured for a dollar or 50 cents, I can't remember what they were. I figured that was worth having. So after that, we got some paper producty type of things. These Ziploc Zip and Steam, I grabbed these on Amazon. I love these. I use these all the time. I actually have pretty much forgotten how to cook veggies any other way. But there's 10... Um, 10 bags in each package and I haven't bought these in years because I used to get really good deals between coupons and Ibotta and I stocked up on so many and I had just recently run out and I was having a really hard time finding them at my Walmart. I couldn't find them at my Walmart so I did grab this 12 pack off of Amazon and it was a pretty good deal and now I shouldn't have to buy them for quite a while again. And some of the quart size storage Ziploc bags. I just get the double zipper. I used to buy the little slidey zipper ones until I realized how much more expensive they were per bag. So now I always get these. So I needed to add some of these to our pantry. And then I did buy a box of 100 plastic forks. It's always a good idea to have some disposable items in your prepper pantry for those times when you may not be able to run your dishwasher may not have running water, hot water, electricity. We use plastic silverware sometimes. I try not to use it too much, but when we do, we rewash the knives and the spoons, but we've found that um, if you wash the forks, they just get too weak and they'll just break the next time you use them. So we don't wash those, we throw them away. So we run out of those a lot more often. And then I got these also from Amazon. Now this actually does have a prepping related purpose. If anyone can figure out and guess what it is, I'd be pretty impressed. These are big milkshake um, boba straws, and I do have a plan for them that you'll probably see in an upcoming video. So if you want to wager a guess on what I'm going to use these giant straws for, go ahead. Um, some more garbage bags. We These are the ones we use in our outside garbage in the garage, these big black ones. Um, and then I did get some of these smaller steel garbage can liners 10 and a half gallons and I do have a plan for those as well um, a little shampoo and conditioner oops we got one more here this this was this is pretty expensive stuff but my kids really like this one and there was a deal on Ibotta so I did stock up on a few of these I have the hardest time keeping shampoo and conditioner in stock because we use so much of it and usually once a year Walmart will clearance out there shampoo and conditioner aisle and I will buy bags and bags and bags of it on clearance and then we're set for quite a while but then I stop buying it so then we start to get low but got some shampoo a few conditioners I do try to get more conditioner than shampoo because we go through that a lot faster but these were all I bought a deal so I got these to add into our stockpile a couple more random clearance things that I found um, I thought this was really handy it was marked down to six dollars a carabiner light and power bank i have gotten the carabiner power banks for phones before on clearance and this one actually has a light an led light included so i thought that was a really good find i'm going to give that a try 
Now, these, I got a few of these. These were marked down to, I think, 50 cents. So what you can use these for, if you ever use these backpacking meals, either the Mountain House or there's other brands. I like to make my own with Mylar bags and my own ingredients. Um, this would be a great cozy. Just slip the meal down inside of this. Seal it up and you'll have a nice little thermal cooking pouch that's going to help keep the heat in while the meal reconstitutes. So I did pick up a couple of these for that purpose. But if you didn't want to use those, the other thing I picked up in the clearance aisle was this, which is an auto, you know, sunshade. It's made out of this sort of a bubble wrap mylar type of material. This was marked down to a dollar. It happens to be a Spider-Man one, but that's okay. And you can actually use that material to make your own little meal cozy for those backpacking meals. You can put it together with this tape and you can make your own custom size. So the final thing that I did get was some pet food. Now I have the hardest time staying stocked up on pet food and it's probably because we have so many pets. We've got five dogs and at least five cats that are always in the house and then at least another one outside that we feed. So this 30 pound bag is what I usually get. It's what our cats are accustomed to eating this meow mix. They like that. And then I got some canned cat food. Now the canned cat food especially has been completely bare in our area for quite a while and um, I'm not the only one who's noticing it. I've seen a lot of my friends on Facebook that live in our area. So how is the pet food looking where you live? These were the only cans I was able to get of cat food at our Walmart and it's other stores too. It's not just Walmart but I got these eight cans and they're not even the can that I really wanted. I wanted to get the even bigger can because it's a little bit more economical. That was all I was able to find. It has been empty for weeks. My daughter did pick this up for me. It is um, not really sure where she even got this. I'm thinking maybe Target. But so we do have those because I've seen a lot of people lately saying that they stock up on canned food for their pets for their prepper pantry because, you know, you stock up on canned food for yourself. So it kind of makes sense, I guess, to put cans of food. Even though my pets don't always eat canned food, they do, they do have it sometimes, so they are accustomed to eating it. So... So I'm going to start putting aside more cans of pet food in the prepper pantry. And I also got a case. I mixed this. I just put different flavors. Um, I think I got four different flavors of canned dog food to add to the prepper pantry. Well, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing my haul because I sure enjoyed sharing it with you. Let me know what you thought of my haul down in the comments and let me know what kind of things you've been stocking up on lately. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, leave me a shopping cart emoji down in the comments. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. I'm Jarrah with Wicked Prepared. Survive today, thrive tomorrow. We'll see you next time.